Okay, this one here it says, first off on the first page, I want you to write in your notebook 20 and 10. Now remember what we always say, the sign has to eat up the bigger number, which in this instance is 20. Now I want to run kind of a little experiment here. I want you to add 3 to each number and then make a new comparison symbol. So I add 3 to 20, it's 23. I add 3 to 10, it's 13. Well, 20 is still bigger, so the sign still opens up towards this way. So the sign didn't change. Okay, then I want you to subtract 3 from each number up here. Go back up here. Okay, so subtracting 3 from 20 is 17. Subtracting 3 from 10 is 7. 17 is still bigger, so the sign doesn't change. So when I add and subtract, it doesn't change. Now divide each number by 5. Okay, so 20 divided by 5 is 4. 10 divided by 5 is 2. Okay, sign didn't change. Now, divide by negative 5. So it's going to be 4 and 2, but now it's going to be negative 4 and negative 2. Now negative 2 is bigger, now the sign switches. Okay. Now go back up here and multiply each number by 2. Okay, so that's going to be 40 and that's going to be 20. So 40 is bigger, so the sign doesn't change. It's the same as it was up there. Now multiply each number by negative 2. So that's going to be 40 and 20, but now it'll be negative 40 and negative 20. Well, now negative 20 is bigger. So the sign opens up towards negative 20. So really, the only time the sign switched is here when I divided by a negative number, and here when I multiplied by a negative number. Okay, so you got to remember that the sign flips when you multiply or divide by a negative. Okay, now we're going to start our examples. I'm going to draw eight boxes, kind of like the packets have. Okay, eight boxes. And we're going to use two boxes for each problem. We need to solve the inequality, and then we need to graph the solution. So we have the first problem, x plus 5 greater than or equal to negative 3. Okay. Now, um, when we solve, with, when it just says x plus 5 equals 3, there's just one answer. But with greater than or less than signs, there's an infinite amount of answers. The answers keep going forever, which is why we need a number line to graph it. Just put 0 in the middle. Okay, then I kind of do what I do when I solve for x in an equation. Okay, I make sure there's a single x and I put a wall on that side. Then I'm going to put a 1 in front of that x and dot it and circle it. Now that 1 right there is positive. Okay. Now if that was a negative 1, this sign would flip. But the multiplying and dividing numbers, you have to check whether they're negative or positive. If they're positive, the sign's not going to switch. It's going to stay the same. So bring it down here Okay. so it's the same. Now we have a plus 5, so we're going to subtract 5 or go negative 5. Now, when you're adding and subtracting, you need to line up your sign and you have 1 dot x. Okay? Negative 3 minus 5 is negative 8. Now when I divide, I move down to here. x comes before the symbol, so I put it before the symbol. Negative 8 divided by 1 is negative 8. So negative 8 is the critical number. I circle, I fill it in. Okay. Now here's my question. The sign eats the x. 
So when it eats the X, it always goes this way on the number line. Okay, eats X, it goes that way. Okay, next problem, we have 8 greater than or equal to negative 2X. So again, I make a wall on the side of the X. I don't need to put the 1 because we already have a multiplying number. We want to circle that. Now, that number's negative. Okay, see up here the, the dot number, the multiplying number was positive. Now it's negative. So that sign needs to flip. And you don't have anything outside that you would have to add or subtract, so you go straight for the division. Okay. Now the X comes after the symbol. See up here it came before the symbol. Now here's my symbol. The X comes after it. So when the X comes after it, you need to put it after it. Okay. Then 8 divided by negative 2 is negative 4. So negative 4 is your critical number. Circle, fill it in. And again, it eats X. So when it eats the variable x, that means it goes this way. Even though that's a less than sign, we need to rule the rule. When it eats x, it goes this way. Okay, next one. x divided by negative 3 greater than or equal to 8. So number line. Make your wall. Now, I never use a dot when, it, when we have a divider under it. Okay, so I circle the divider. Okay. Now, the number again, just like multi div dividing is no different, the multiplication, the divider is no different. If that's negative, the sign needs to flip. Okay. Now, x comes before the symbol, so we put it before the symbol. And then to find what goes on the other side, we just simply multiply. Negative 3 times 8 is negative 24. So this time it doesn't eat x, it eats the number. Okay. So when it eats the number, it's going this way, okay? And also, do me a favor on these number lines. Copy down this sentence here. Uh, you just copy down what you got. Label the number line. Copy down what you got, okay? Copy down what you got. Whoops, right there. So when it eats X this way, eats the number back the other way. It means it can be anything less than that number. Okay. Next one, negative 4x minus 2 greater than or equal to 14. So the wall, dot circle, make that a plus negative 2. And the number line, the multiplying number is negative, okay? Inside the circle you have a negative, so that sign flips. It goes from greater than to less than. So you got to get rid of the negative 2, you would add 2, then line your symbol up. 14 plus 2 is 16, and then negative 4 dot x. Now it's time to divide. So it's going to be negative 4. x is before the symbol, so put it before the symbol. 16 divided by negative 4 is negative 4. So you got negative 4, circle, fill it. It eats the number. So when it eats a number, it goes this way. So I just copy, label my number line with my, so x can be any number, it can be negative 4 and any number less than negative 4. Okay, next problem, 3x plus 4 minus 5x greater than or equal to 20. Okay, now I can't make, you can't do make your wall and dot and circle because you have two X's, but fortunately they're on the same side, okay? So I make my V and I write the word add, okay? Don't add five, add five. That's what you do when they're on opposite sides. So three plus negative five is negative two X. Then I've also got the plus four, and then I get into my inequality symbol with 20. So now the wall goes up. Now we can dot and circle. We have a negative multiplier, so that symbol needs to change direction. So we would subtract 4. So it's 16, negative 2, dot x. Then we divide both sides by the negative 2, and we're ready to fill out here. So x comes before the symbol. 16 divided by negative 2 is negative 8. So we have negative 8 as the number, circle. We fill it but it eats the number, okay? 
so that means it goes this way. So negative 8, negative 9, negative 10, all that stuff. Okay, next problem. 6 parentheses x minus 1 less than negative 18. Okay, first we don't know if the sign, we don't make the wall because there's a parentheses here. Okay, so I put a 1 in front of the x, make that plus negative, and do the distributed property rainbows. So we got 6 times 1x is 6x, then plus 6 times negative 1 is negative 6. And now I can put my symbol negative 18. Now the wall can go up and we can dot and circle. We have a positive there, so the symbol is going to stay the same. So negative 6. The reason why I know that it stays the same is eventually that's a number I divide by, and when we divide both sides by a positive number, it's not going to change. It's when it's negative. So plus 6, plus 6. 6 dot x, negative 18 plus 6, negative 12. Divide by 6, and we have x coming before the symbol. And then on the other side of the symbol, negative 12 divided by 6 is negative 2. So negative 2 is your critical number. It opens to the, it eats the number. Okay, so when it eats a number, it goes that way, and we label it x less than negative 2. Okay, next one, 3x greater than 5x plus 12. Again, you can't make the wall because you have x's on opposite side. You have x's on, you have two x's, okay? They're on opposite sides of the symbol. So normally I tell you to pick the smaller one, but if I pick the smaller one, there's not going to be anything over there. So let's pick the 5x and get rid of that. So minus 5x, minus 5x. So line your symbol up. 3 minus 5 is negative 2x. And 12. Now we can make the wall and the dot circle. That's a negative, so that sign is going to switch. And I don't have to add or subtract anymore. I can go straight to the division of negative 2. So you have x coming before the symbol, and then 12 divided by negative 2 is negative 6. Circle, you're not going to fill it in. Again, you know when to fill it. You fill it in if the line's there. You don't fill it in if it's not there. Okay? It eats our number, so it goes back this way, x less than negative 6. Okay, next one we got 3x plus 15 less than or equal to 2x minus 8. Okay, again, the wall can't go up. We have X's on opposite sides. So this time, you can pick the smaller one, because if you get rid of the smaller one, you're still going to have the negative 8 over there. So minus 2X, minus 2X. Line your symbol up. It's going to be 1X plus 15, negative 8. Wall, dot, circle. That 1 looks positive to me, so that symbol will not change. So 15, you subtract 15, subtract 15, line your symbol up, 1 dot x. Negative 8 minus 15 is negative 23. Again, you can do that one of two ways. You can just go negative 8 minus 15, or you can go negative 8 plus negative 15. Okay? Either way, it's the same. Then I divide by the 1. x comes before the symbol, so put it before. Negative 23 divided by 1 is negative 23. So negative 23 is our critical value, fill in the circle, and it eats the number, so we're going this way. Okay, now it's going to set up boxes. And you have 2x minus 5 minus 6x less than 15. So here's the symbol. Again, you have multiple x's, so plus negative, plus negative. So since those are on the same side, we combine them with the v. Okay, don't plus six, plus six. That's what you do when they're on opposite sides. So two plus negative six is negative four x. Plus the negative five, less than fifteen. 
Now we can make the wall in the circle. The x has a negative multiplying number, so the sign goes the other way. Get your negative 15 to zero, 5 to 0 by adding 5. We have negative 4 times x, 20. Okay. Now we can divide by negative 4. Now x comes before the symbol, so we put it before over here. 20 divided by negative 4 is negative 5. So negative 5 is a critical number. We wouldn't fill it in because the line's not there. It opens to the x. It eats the x. So when it eats the x, it goes this way. So x greater than negative 5. Okay, next one. Negative 3, quantity x. When I say quantity, that means parentheses. Greater than 24. Okay, first off, apply the distributed property. So negative 3 to 1x, negative 3 to 2. So that's times. Negative 3 times 1x is negative 3x. Negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. And then I have the symbol, and then 24. So now I can make my wall, because this is the only x I have. It has a multiplier of negative 3, so the sign has to flip, because we're going to eventually divide both sides of the inequality by a negative. So negative 6, we have to add 6 to get that to 0, and add 6 over here. So negative 3 dot x, 24 plus 6 is 30. And now we can divide. So x comes before the symbol. 30 divided by negative 3 is negative 10. So negative 10 is a critical number. Circle, but we wouldn't fill it. This time it eats the number, so whenever it eats the number, it's going back this backwards. Okay? So x can be all numbers going that way from negative 10. Okay, next up. 8x less than 12x plus 8. Okay, here's my symbol. You have x's on opposite sides. Now normally we get rid of the smaller one, but there's nothing else over there, so I'm going to get rid of the one on over here. So I would minus 12x, minus 12x. So line up your symbol. 8 minus 12 is negative 4x, and then you just have 8. Now you can make the wall, now you can dot and circle. That's a negative, so the sign flips. And you can go straight into your division property of equality. So we have x coming before the symbol. 8 divided by negative 4 is negative 2. So negative 2 is your critical number. You're not going to fill it in because the line's not there under the inequality symbol. And it eats x. So when it eats x, we're going this way. So x greater than negative 2. Okay, next up. 4x plus 8 is greater than or equal to 6x plus 10. Okay, x is, again, you have two of them. They're on opposite sides, so mark the smaller one. This time I can mark, I can get rid of the smaller one because there's still an 8 there. So I would minus 4x, minus 4x. So line your symbol up. And you have 8, 6 minus 4 is 2x plus 10. Now the wall's over here, but that's okay. I do it the same way. The multiplying number 2 is positive, so the sign will stay the same. So get rid of your plus 10. Minus 10, minus 10. Line your sign up. 8 minus 10 is negative 2, and then 2 dot x. Now we can divide by 2, but you got to be careful, okay? Now your x comes after the symbol, so put it after the symbol. Okay? Negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. So negative 1 is your critical number. We're going to fill in the circle, and it eats the number. It does not eat the x. So eating the number is always this way, even though that's a greater than sign. Okay? We still go this way. So negative 1 greater than equal to x. Okay, next one, 5 less than or equal to x plus 8. Okay, wall can go up. 1 is the multiplier. It's a positive.
positive 1, so the sign stays the same. So we minus our 8, minus our 8, line up the symbol. On this side, 5 minus 8 is negative 3. On this side, you got 1 dot x. Now divide by your 1. And you can go over here, but keep in mind, x comes after the symbol. So negative 3 divided by 1 is negative 3. Circle, fill it. Okay. It eats the x, so when that sign opens up or eats the x, we're going this way. Okay. Just copy down. Okay, 5x greater than or equal to 35. Okay, wall dot circle. We have a positive, so the sign stays the same. We divide both sides by the 5. And then I can come here because the x is before the symbol by itself. 35 divided by 5 is 7. So we have 7, circle, fill it. And it eats our x, so it goes this way. Okay, next one. X divided by negative 4 is less than 9. So wall, when you have a division operation with the X, it means the numbers underneath a line with the X. Don't make the dot. You circle the divider. And just like you do with the dot number, the multiplier, you look at your divider and ask yourself, is it negative? It is, so that sign goes this way. And I can go straight into multiplying. Okay? Make the loop. X comes before the symbol. Negative 4 times 9 is negative 36. So we got negative 36. It eats the x. So if it eats that x, it's going this way. Okay, then our last problem 15 greater than or equal to negative 3x plus 6. Okay, wall can go up. There's your multiplying number. It's negative, so guess what that sign does? It switches. Got to get rid of your plus 6, so minus 6, minus 6. Line your symbol up. Over here we have 15 minus 6, that's 9. Over here we have negative 3 times x. Okay, now it's time to divide by the negative 3. So x comes after the symbol, so we'll just put it after the symbol. 9 divided by negative 3 is negative 3. So negative 3 is critical number. That might be a less than sign, but it still eats the x, so it's going this way. So negative 3 less or equal to whatever x is. Okay, and that's it. You have 8 problems on your assignment. Watch the sign flipping.